Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So we can see that I fully completed the entire campaign. Now I did not go and purchase the event buyout, which you could get in the events tab. It cost only maximum of a thousand Zen, which in my opinion is rated a bit too cheaply considering you could grind this all out and then all that effort is only worth 1000 Zen. Well, that aside, I have it completed and how did I do it? Well, there are multiple ways you can do so fairly easily, but the easiest one is to go and complete this on multiple characters. So I'm currently on a character which I have not completed it on and I can just jump down here where the auction house was, speak to Alminster and pick ah, up that quest, a subtle curiosity. Now when you complete this quest, you will receive 120 of this campaign progress. You can also go and claim these quests from the board. However, each of those decree quests will only give you 24 of that currency. So those are not the quests I would bother with at all. So what you do is literally complete all of the weekly quests on your character and then move to the next and you'll obtain up to about 600 of that currency. So with that said, I went and completed this on five of my different characters. I did it on Gwen, I did it on Aelin, I did it on Gwyneth, I did it on Sariel and I did it on Gwen. Now what you want to do is progress through the entire weekly quests so you've initially go and you progress through the golden quests and you will have first a subtle curiosity where you speak to all of these different npcs then you will speak to kavatos and you'll gain woven disturbance where you'll have to head to your ebon downs search for clues in the area where the dragon heroic encounter was basically kill enemies then you'll head to the ice Pirate peak do exactly the same thing and finally to never death graveyard also searching for clues and then you will teleport right back to himself elminster and hand in the quest and then you will receive people of interest where you will head to a section of protectors enclave you get a cutscene with this guy who's sneaking off and you go and follow him and you enter in now you'll be able to repeat this area multiple times but the first time you do it you can go you complete it you just descend through the levels of the house you get to the basement and you beat up this boss guy once that's complete and you're handed in you get another 120 of that currency so you can see me completing it on all my other characters here and i've only had to go and do it on five characters to fully get this progress all the way up now you can see when we hover over here that you can you can obtain currency through quests marked with that banner you can also get it through quests marked with the lion and also through your daily random cues now if you don't have multiple characters like five characters to go and grind this out on then you might be considering yes doing your random cues or you could go complete your legacy campaign quests they are capped at weekly and unfortunately they are actually capped to give you progress at only handing in once per day so if you have multiple of them completed make sure you only hand in once per day since you will gain an error if you try hand in any more and i was wrong in my recent video you don't actually complete the quest with the lion mark it's a bit misleading but you complete those weekly ones and hand them in for the progress now from what i went and tested out the trial queue will only give you 60 of the progress same with the advanced dungeon queue skirmish and the random dungeon will only give you 30 so in my opinion they're really not worth your time to go and do since they're only going to give you that minimal amount of progress but of course if you're looking for your rough astral diamonds then you'll be doing them anyway so if you wanted to complete this entire thing on just one character, the best way in my opinion is to literally go and repeat this one quest. You have one quest which is when we pop over to Elminster, unsavory characters. And we can go and very easily complete this. We're going to have to go and literally do the exact same thing as you did within the quest the people of interest it's going to lead us to just one of these doorways we enter an abandoned warehouse we descend down and we just kill all the cultists and down just here and we have this little boss down here at least we should but we can just enter in this and then we beat up the boss which is just here and once he's dead that's it very easy way to do is to just click h 
go, I'm stuck and abort quests and you'll get teleported right into Protector's Enclave where you entered in rather than have to walk back through the house again. And then we can just head back to go and hand in that quest. Now you will see when I hand in this quest, I shouldn't get any progress because I fully completed it. There's absolutely no need. I'll only gain silver. But you can see when I go and complete it here, you can see you'll get 24 of that progress each time you do it. And it can take you like less than a minute to do those. There are one weekly quest which I didn't bother with, which was this staying heroic. It require you to go and complete two major heroics and five minor heroics the ones that are marked weekly will give you 120 and the ones that are just blue which you can repeat all the time will give you only 24 so with that said let's claim our rewards i still haven't unlocked the premium rewards since i'm still waiting on my zen to convert you'll have three months to do so up until january i believe the 10th will this thing all end but i believe you can still purchase it up until well it's like march but let's go and claim these rewards, a bunch of rerolls, this Neverwinterian standard artifact package, and finally the Neverwinterian Hawk, which is the thing I'm most interested in. This item I would highly recommend everybody get who at least wants to be dealing competitive damage. It is account bound there, but we'll go with slotted in instead of our doohickey. Our doohickey does 125 magnitude, and this new Hawk is dealing 630 magnitude. Which when we go and look at some of our powers, like this is our single target power is only 715 magnitude. So it's like pretty much in a second encounter power, but on a 30 second cooldown. Otherwise, we have this emote for Neverwinter Salute. And we also have this artifact package containing these items here. Very nicely, the Sigil of Neverwinter and the Buckle are mythic already. No need to go and refine those any further. Unfortunately, though, the artifact, you will have to go and do so through the same process of upgrading an artifact all the way to mythic. However, it will give you a thousand item level and it's a banner. So it will put a laser on the ground and I believe it will have a duration of 30 seconds when on mythic, 5% recharge speed and foes will take 5% more damage. Very advantageous to a group, especially in trials for those buff and debuff artifacts. So that's the salute emote just there. You can see when we go to use the hawk on a dummy, it's just like the doohickey and you'll summon that hawk and it'll swoop in and deal that damage just to one target. So we're going to have this item best for single target. Ideally you would cast it during an artifact call. And then we have the doohickey for the AOE since it can hit multiple enemies and also having a chance to paralyze them. As for whether or not it's worth to buy these premium wards, well, in my opinion, it probably is once we have all the other milestones unlocked and you can actually see what rewards you can get from there. Like if you got a coal ward from each of them, that's three coal wards. And you can buy on the Zen market a coal ward for, you can see here, a thousand Zen. So you've already made somewhat profit there in terms of Zen. But of course, there are definitely other desirable rewards. For example, this Jewel of the North artifact package, not a set I would run on anything other than a tank. Again, you can see the stats on screen here, but it has the Jewel of the North artifact, which you can upgrade again, giving a thousand item level. So if you don't have the Storyteller journal, those thousand item level artifacts are definitely what you want to be going for. As for are these rewards account wide? Well, when we look at the campaign on a different character, you can see we've claimed all the rewards already. So what you'll need to do is go to the home page, click claim valuables. And here in the claim section, you can get the Neverwintian Hawk. You can also get the emote and you can see you can claim it an infinite amount of times. It will be account wide on pickups. You can always claim it on one character and transfer it to another. And then here in the promo tab, you can get the artifact package right here. Now, just checking the campaign real quick, you might think, right, that's an infinite amount of coal awards. Unfortunately, I don't believe that's the case. They've definitely made it so that you can only claim this once per account. It was the same with the rerolls. We can't go and claim them on all our characters. Would be nice since reroll tokens are character bound anyway. So again, that's everything for this video. The easiest way to go and grind out this event is to literally do those weekly quests on each of your characters. You might have to do up to five characters to just get through it nice and easily. If you don't have that many characters, you might only have the base of two characters, then 
do the weeklies, and then you can go and do your random queues. Since you're going to need the rough astral diamonds anyway, you want that 100k every day, and you can then go and keep doing the repeatable quest, which is that one where you can go and complete unsavory characters for 25 of this progress, and you can keep repeating that very quickly again i'd like to give a massive thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going and if i present this well consider leaving the video a like and if you're new around here consider subscribing and we'll see you guys around goodbye for now